greetings, one and all. Off Mamer here, Quartermaster, MHS Hysteria. So, it's been a little crazy around here, what with uh, getting sucked through a wormhole type thing and, and spit out into some other dimension or another. And, and according to the captain, there's, there's some sort of error with the vortex reality anchor on the eternity clock and boring... Boring, boring. He says he and the doctor have worked out some sort of way to manually open wormholes in order to dimension jump to that big library thing. Well, this place is no library. But as far as I can tell, it's uh, it's pretty much how we left it. I mean, up is up, down is down. Two eggs and toast any style, $1.99 in America is awesome. You know what the weird thing is? little things really like uh you, you know how everything used to taste like chicken well here it seems the chicken tastes like everything and i mean everything <laughs> depending on which part of the bird you bite into it might taste like beef it might taste like pecan pie Pe pecan pie Pe pecan pie or uh you know even radial tires don't take too big of a bite because some of the flavor combinations can be um, oft-putting. Oft-putting! So, uh, I've kind of given up on chicken. And once we got here, we, uh, we used the squawk box thing to find out as much as we could about this new dimension, digging through historical records and newspapers and articles and biographies and boring, 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 boring. I read one. I skimmed one. The first page popped up on the screen and I looked at it. And it seems that somewhere in this dimension, there is a place where I may be revered as some sort of a living god. I, I, I think the captain was a little jealous, but I was like, Hey man, relax! Like, there's a place right here in our own dimension that's looked up to you for generations! Look at this! Am I right? I'm right. Right? I mean... I'm right. Did some looking into it, and it, uh, it turns out that in this dimension, in the South Pacific, there is an island named after moi. Yeah. The only other thing I've ever had named after me was a sandwich at the Dieselhead Diner in Pismo Beach. It was fried chicken breast with clams, red cabbage coleslaw, pepper jack cheese, black pepper, uh, uh, peppercorns, uh, pepper hassan, on a pepper nickel. I wonder what the sandwich would taste like in this dimension. Well, looks like that's all the time I have for today. I'm going down to the galley for a snack. This is Zoff Mamer, signing off. Applesauce and match heads.